Lamborghini has finally revealed its second SUV in history. The road-oriented vehicle has a 641 horsepower twin-turbo V8 and highly creased body panels. There are plenty of interesting factoids packed into its four-door shape. We highlight the most interesting of them. Here, it's named after a breed of cattle. Though many Lamborghinis have been named after specific fighting bulls, this one is named after an entire breed. The extinct breed is called Rus, or sometimes Orox, that is closely related to Spanish fighting bulls of today. It's the first Lamborghini with active roll control. When a car gets tall and heavy, it wants to lean a lot more when cornering. To counter that, Lamborghini fitted the Rus with an active roll control system to help keep the body flat going through turns. It's also one of a number of technologies meant to improve handling, such as adaptive damping, rear wheel steering, borrowed from the Aventador S, and torque vectoring on the rear differential. It has huge wheels and brakes. Standard wheels on the Roos are 21 inches, but for those with a desire for bigger dubs, there are optional 23-inch models. These wheels are stopped by standard carbon ceramic rotors. The fronts are 17.3 inches in diameter and the rears are 14.5 inches. It has the best weight to power ratio of any SUV. Besides having the highest claimed top speed for an SUV, and acceleration on par with the 707 horsepower Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, Lamborghini claims the Rus has the best weight to power ratio of any SUV on the market. That ratio, with the SUV's roughly 4,850 pound curb weight and 641 horsepower, is 7.57 pounds per horsepower. It is worth noting that the aforementioned Grand Cherokee Trackhawk is still close with a ratio of 7.59 pounds per horsepower. It can be mostly rear-wheel drive, but not fully. The big Lambo is all-wheel drive all the time, with its torsion center differential providing a default torque split of 40% to the front and 60% to the rear. This can change all the way up to 87.5% to the rear depending on conditions, or it can shift 70% of the torque to the front. Its chassis is all steel and aluminum. Unlike the Lamborghini's sports cars that use extensive carbon fiber in the chassis, either for the passenger cell in the case of the Aventador, or for reinforcement as in the Hurricane, the Roos has a steel and aluminum chassis. Yeah.